what's up welcome back to another video i just want to forewarn everyone that i am not the greatest uh, artist in the entire world so these pictures are going to be very easy to make fun of please try and take it easy on me i am doing my best so as most of you already know i was originally born in new york my parents had my sister in 1990. They tried to have me shortly after, but unfortunately had no luck. My mom randomly, thankfully, <laughs> got pregnant in 1996 with me. Complications came about when trying to conceive me and they ended up having to do an emergency procedure. The umbilical cord actually got wrapped around my neck and the doctors told my mother that both of us might not make it, but there was more of a chance I would. My mom told the doctors not to worry about her and to just do whatever they could to save me. Thankfully, after an emergency c-section and about 10 hours later, we both made it. I grew up in a small house in Smithtown, Long Island. My dad actually built most of it himself. I spent most of my time figure skating and hanging out with friends. When I was 8 years old, my Nana and Pop came to live with us. Most of my childhood memories are with them. Unfortunately, my Nana got really sick and was bedridden. I spent lots of my time entertaining her by her bedside and drawing pictures for her while she watched TV on this little, little cable box. When I was 12 years old, my Nana left us. Shortly after that, me and my mom and dad took off to Scottsdale, Arizona. My sister stayed behind because of friends and school and shortly moved by herself to Tampa, Florida. She recently got married to her now husband. I remember moving to Scottsdale and thinking it was a exciting experience because I'd meet all new friends and try new things. I couldn't be any more wrong. Between getting jumped at the mall by a group of girls, getting in fights in the cafeteria, and getting an egg cracked over my head in the hallway, I was actually in 8th grade choir. I got two solos for our end of the year performance and finally felt like I was fitting in. High school, sadly, wasn't any different. I felt alone for many years of my life, which is why I turned to live streaming and Instagram. It was the first time I felt like I belonged in a really long time. When I graduated senior year, I hit 100k on Instagram. From there, my Instagram kept growing and growing. It helped me realize who a lot of my friends were actually in the real world. It helped me realize what a lot of other people do this for. For those of you who know me, you know why I do this. I do this because I feel like I... I do this because I feel like I am... And I make these videos because I've come to realize that a lot of you are like me. And I 